Hi, I'm Simon Rogers, and I will be sharing with you a presentation about Scenario 2, the Academy, um, where I have been involved with a Category 2 Academy and supporting this group, where six players ultimately do get released from the football club. This particular Academy is very ambitious, it's innovative, and has a strong sense of duty of care and sees this duty of care as a, as a selling point, but also as uh, to, to attract top talent, as well as the most effective way to develop their talent. To give you an idea of what we'll be going through over the whole of the presentation, we'll be focusing on the four key areas, pre-decision, decision day, post-decision, and then conclusion. Within each of these four categories, I've highlighted three uh, keywords and I'll expand on a few points under each of these keywords. I've also added a player care key. So under the, the three main areas of work that uh, we cover, operations, personal development, welfare, uh, they are noted after each of the different points. So pre-decision, most of the presentation will be on this part. So transparent is one of the key things. Uh, every uh, individual within the group prior to the whole process leading up to decision day, uh, they will know what's happening and when it's happening. We'll be as transparent as possible as to what's happening when having to avoid any form of anxiety where possible. Also, the whole group will be told um, together uh, because we don't know who that will be released. We also have an approach that is based on development first and uh, assessment se secondary and when there is assessment which is obviously a necessary part of the process the coaches are supported uh, that the feedback is uh, shared in a way that is constructive and actionable uh, and as an area of growth for each of the individual players supportive as well and one of the main areas of support is that we have a philosophy of working with the player the person first and the player second and that's an approach that we very much, it's not just a, an idea and a philosophy, but something that's very much embodied and looking to grow in that even more throughout uh, the academy uh, with all of the staff involved, as well as obviously the, the players. Part of doing this is a very innovative approach that we've uh, uh, taken on as an academy, and that is to bring in an external mindset consultant to develop a, a proactive and dynamic approach to well-being as a robust foundation for high performance and we really believe that that is the case to get the best performance that well-being needs to be there as a solid foundation and that involves not only the uh, individuals but also the coaches as well and the other relevant staff to support that process proactive signposting as well that could be pfa uh, any other bodies that are relevant to ensuring that they are supported from all possible angles as well Everything that we do is also based around opportunity in terms of pre-decision. We want to make sure that all of the individuals know the, the pathways, the common pathways, but also other possible pathways as well. But it's not just knowing them, it's also having the chance to experience them as well. So they know the options, they experience the options, and they also get the chance to ask the individuals, say it's work experience in, in, in an alternative career outside of football or even within football, but not as a player. They have the opportunity to ask the individuals that they work with how they got there as well. So they have any form of anxiety about how they can create a future for themselves is nullified as much as, as possible. To elaborate a little bit more on the work that the mindset consultant is doing, they'll be working on things such as emotional intelligence, emotional agility, fixed and growth mindset and identity. So these are all concepts that uh, players uh, recognize in themselves and the areas that they are actually working on and growing on. And they see how that's linked both to uh, well-being, personal development and performance. Decision day, obviously a very big day. The big focus is for us is clarity, listening, compassion, clarity, reinforming them, you know, what to expect, when it can happen, and that includes a next steps meeting for anybody that is being released and also reminding them of the uh, relevant uh, signposting at, at the time as well. A big part beyond uh, informing and imparting information is listening uh, and compassion. So we want to make sure that all the individuals that are released, in fact, anybody in that whole process going through the decision day, it, it's a stressful moment. So we want to make sure that they feel listened to and heard and also anybody, a significant others around them as well. 
Compassion as well. Um, we know that it can be, as I said, a very stressful and emotional time. We want to be aware that that can be not just on the day, but it can be an ongoing process. And we want to make sure that they are supported well beyond the day, whether that's through us or that's just with us knowing that they've got a form of support in place. Post decision. We want this to be individualized, collaborative and nurturing. Essentially, every individual, it needs to be tailored to their, to their specific needs, whatever they are. And they that support is very is very intense in nature so on a daily basis leading up to once their pathway is actually started or not just identified but it, or they're well on their way collaborative making sure that any other bodies that are relevant within supporting these individuals that they can be proactive as well by us informing them and nurturing one of the, the areas that we're very proactive in and, and maybe innovative is ensuring that they have uh, mindset coaching sessions available to them to assist them with navigating this transition that they're going through lastly as a conclusion we have a process of feedback review and improve and this is both on an individual level but also as an academy wide we'll, we'll use the information as feedback to improve it for future academy members as well lastly i'd like to thank you for your attention for listening to a very long presentation